Previously on Survivor, after Matrio left JS out of the split vote plan that kept Michaela in, it was five to four. Michaela stays. I lost it. JS immediately swore revenge. I want them out of this game, and I want their games to be over. JS outed his alliances to Katie. So since day one in this game, there's been a Majesta newbies alliance, and pushed for a blindside on his old allies. Meanwhile, Katie began to work on the now isolated Michaela to gain her vote. I was the only one that was like trying to tell you the truth. At the challenge, a lot of things were revealed, including how big of a threat Jack was as she received superlative after superlative. It's flattering in a sense, but at the same time, it's very concerning. Michaela, fresh off her first immunity win, reformed her alliance with Morgan and Katie. Also, can we please get this three person thing back yeah. together? Mine is Jess. Sorry, Jess, love you. <laughs> and thanks to their new idol clue, Katie was able to finally get the hidden immunity idol. <laughs> Found the idol, bitches. The returners, Michaela and JS, then set a plan to vote out a Matrio member. And Miranda was blindsided on her birthday, but not before receiving a gift from JS. Nine remain. Who will be voted out tonight? The tribe has spoken. You may go. Happy birthday, Biatch! Oh. <laughs> Good move or bad move? Time will tell. I have officially ended the McQuad. Well, we know who flipped. It was me. The fucking snitch. Shouldn't have lied to me. Hopefully, the lines are much more clear. We are down to the final. To you. you did. Now you're fucking lying. No, you this was a calculated decision. I planned on saying this. I planned on saying something to her as soon as her torch was put out because I need to make sure everyone in the game believes I won't get her and others jury votes. I am still a huge threat in this game. If I pull off all the moves I want to pull off, I will be a huge target. Therefore, if I get to the end, I need everyone else in the game to think that I'm losing all of these jury votes. It was nothing personal. I love Miranda as a person. Yo, I'm about to well be playing, guys. Up. Well played. Oh. Miranda went home. There's no easy way to put it when you're close, like one of your closest allies goes home. Honestly, I was really pissed, but at the same time, I had to be thankful that it wasn't me. Not only was she thought to go on challenge runs, but if I was voted most powerful player, she's like my closest ally, would take away some of my power by voting her out, so I see why they did it. Honestly, it made me feel like a hero <laughs> this season, because I think last season I was a villain. And this season, I think there's so many more villainous people because of everyone yelling and everything. And like me coming from the minority this whole game and like coming through being a nice person. Like, I honestly, if anything, it just solidified me being one of the more heroic figures this season. Yeah, you always get a little heated. <laughs> of all the people in the game, they were the most genuine to me since the beginning. Like, Jack has always been loyal to me. Um, and Miranda, like, was my favorite person that I met. Now that Miranda is gone, um, I definitely feel like I'm on the bottom. Immunity, back up for grabs. The winner of this will have a one in eight shot at winning this game. Today's challenge is, Doug, do you know what it is? Dizzy Bat. Dizzy Bat. Oh, my favorite. Yes, I love I this game. Of the concrete. <laughs>
we're going to go in three rounds of three. You will do 12 spins on a dizzy bat. You must run up the hill and cross the balance beam. If you fall off the balance beam, you must go to the end. Once you've done that, you will come to this final station. There are three colored balls. You have to throw that ball from this line into that box. Wow. First person to get the ball into that box moves on to the final round. Three rounds of three. Uh, person who wins each round goes to the final round, where they will have a chance to win immunity. All right, first round, we have Doug. We have Katie. And we have Sam. Let's 12. go, Sam! Oh, yes, Sam! Please don't yes, cheer. Survivor's ready. Go! Yes, Sam! Go faster, Sam! Two. Three. Four. Doug and Katie off to a quick start. Sam, going a little slower. 12, you're good. K-12! <laughs> Doug, having a little trouble. Katie, now waiting for Doug. If he passes... Is there an idol under here? <laughs> Doug, now on to the final part. Katie, going on the balance beam. Doug misses. Katie, restarting. Doug is currently in the lead. If he gets it now, he moves on. Katie and Sam having trouble with this balance beam. Meanwhile, Doug is just throwing over and over. Baby off the balance beam. Now she is throwing. If she gets this, she moves on to the final round. Sam still on the balance beam. Doug now throwing again. Oh my god. Katie throwing again. Sam finally off the balance beam. Sam throwing. Sam throwing overhand. Little too short. Sam going. What the and hell? Sam gets Does it. it count? Yeah, it counts. Woo! Fuck the six. <laughs> Second round. We have Morgan. We have Michaela. And we have JS. Survivor's ready. Let's go. One. Michaela, Morgan, and JS all going at a very steady pace. Seven. No cheers, Tony. You're good, Morgan. <laughs> it is a race to the balance beam. JS in the lead. Nope. JS fell. I thought I could like hop on it and hop off. Morgan being very slow and steady. <gasps> and Morgan gets on to the next part. Can I go from here? Yeah, just throw. Morgan throwing. Janice and Michaela still struggling with this balance beam. Right now, Morgan is the only one throwing. Morgan hit a cone. Michaela throws. A little too short. JS on the balance beam. Struggling a little bit. Morgan throws, misses. It is a battle between Michaela and Morgan right now. JS made it. JS, the ball's over here. Downtown. <laughs>
I have to prepare these people to take me to the end. I've been doing that since the very, very beginning. I've been throwing challenges since day one. Uh, I've never wanted to come across as a comp threat. All right, third round, we have Eric, Jack, Hi. and Tony, all vying for that final spot to get immunity with Sam and with Morgan. Survivor's ready. Go. One. Two. Seven. Twelve, you're good, Eric. <laughs> Jack, twelve. Go, go, go. Jack fell on the ground. Eric, the first one to the basket. Tony right behind. Oh. Jack, struggled a bit, but fell. Tony can go. Tony falls, has to start over. Eric back on it. Morgan took her time on this down. Oh. Oh. Ow. Jack, a little bit dirty. Just a little bit. Taking her time on this balance beam. Jack. And Jack makes it through. Jack throws. A little bit off. He made it, he made it. It's Tony now. Tony and Jack both fighting for this. That's right! Let's Made go, it? Sam. Let's go, Morgan. Yeah, Tony! We are at the final round. Morgan, Sam, and Tony. What's up? All playing for immunity. For immunity. Go! One. Two. Sam, six. Morgan, good. Tony, first at the balance beam. Morgan and Sam waiting patiently. If Tony can get this, Tony got it. <laughs> Million dollar shot right here, right? Million dollar shot. Million dollar shot indeed. Well, it feels great being able to go to final eight. Like, it was literally like final 10 two seconds ago. Now I'm final eight for sure. So I feel really good about that. Catch me outside. How about that? Oh, that's going to be real dated by the time this comes out. I have immunity, so you can all fuck off, to be honest. Tony going to the final eight, which means one of the other eight of you. Doug is not here, but. Doug, Katie, Eric, Morgan, Michaela, Jack, Sam, JS, one of you will be the 12th person voted out of this game and will be the fifth member of our jury. Got nothing for you? See you tomorrow for Tribal. Personally, I prefer Tony being out next. Um, the way like the end of Tribal went, he was kind of very rude and almost disrespectful. Tony wins! Great. So this kind of sucks. I'm walking out of the diner with two ice cream cones. Jack, who also has a dining plan, has two ice cream cones. And we're giving it to the rest of the tribe because, you know, we're just trying to be nice, give ice cream cones around. You know, Jack, she pretends like everything's okay. She's so good at this game. And Tony's there outside the diner. He doesn't have a dining plan. And I offer him an ice cream cone. And he's like, mm, no, I'll take Jack's. And he reaches behind me and he takes Jack's ice cream cone. They're all made by Jack. Like, there's no difference. Clearly he's upset. Clearly there is some damage control to be done here. My goal at the beginning of the game, this game was honestly the quad final four. Okay. And what happened with this boat? For like the past week or two, yeah. the tension that we created between Maria and Miranda was starting to become like real. And 
I was getting a lot of information and they kind of were like putting pieces of puzzle pieces in my head together. These puzzle pieces include, I want fish to go home solely because Jayos wants fish to stay and I don't want him to get his way. When I left the meeting in Epley with Fish and Michaela, um, apparently Miranda said, why don't we just do JS? And she threw it out there. Michaela was saying like how um, Miranda was like the one who like purposely like pinned me and Michaela against each other. JS I can't trust, obviously. From day one, it was kind of like his name was the one coming up. And he was just like, don't let it be me, guys. Um, they're just tr doing whatever they can to split us up. But the plan seemed to be, we need him as a number. We need his vote with the Nubia Alliance for like at least the next one, maybe even the next two before we go after him. Of all the people, I'm most frustrated with him. Like, I just think now the targets are me and Jack. Nope. They have five and we have three and we don't know where you stand because who knows what you're telling us, if it's the truth or a lie. Like, I have no you're idea saying, what you're saying. I'm saying this you're past week, meeting. you shut me out. You didn't tell me anything. You didn't tell me a single thing about who was going to go home. So like, like, how am I supposed to trust you anymore? Then why I did you do. flip on us when we had numbers? It would have been a fucking tie. If it's a tie, so what? Like, you didn't trust us enough? But do you not hear these things I'm saying? So what are you saying now? You're going to vote with us? Because now we're in the minority. What are we supposed to do? For me... I also just felt in the bottom of the five. Like, you guys wouldn't have brought me into the final five. I knew my yeah, day was going to come. You know that? I really don't think 110%. so. 110 yeah, percent. It was 110%. us five to the end and us four to the end. And like, you're so, sick. okay, you're gonna get me and Jack out of this game, great. You're not making it past final six, like, I'm telling you that right now. Like, if I mean, you think you're gonna go to the end with them, you're not. Like, flat out, I mean, they don't, you, like, they see you as a big target too. Like, they don't want to go to final three with you either. And I want JS gone. He's just a mess. I don't care if he betrayed Baquad, like, he didn't trust the girls, obviously, but the fact that he betrayed me, I feel like that's, like, personal to me because I was out there busting my ass to make sure his name wasn't on the block, and I literally told him, like, trust me, dude. If your name comes up, I'll make sure it like goes away because like I trust you and you trust me. Like we're gonna go far in this game together. I'm leaving my phone here. Um, I'll do okay. it. I want to work with Tony after this week. I still need Tony. Tony is still in my back pocket. I just need to get rid of the other people in his pocket. And I literally told you to your face that my I intentions, you. my intentions, have always been to go to the finals with you. I mean, I don't know if I can believe you Tony, at all. I, I need you to trust me. I have no, okay. like, how am I supposed to believe you? It helps you? that you won that today. You're okay, then who's party. going home next? Exactly, like, no, um, it's not her. She's not going home next. What do you mean? I feel like JS, like, was being really fake whenever Jack was around, and when she left for two minutes, he would, like, completely flip the story and be like, Tony, I only want to work with you, blah, 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 and I'm just like, Dude, like, if you think I'm gonna buy your shit, like, you have got to be kidding yourself. Like, yeah, just, I feel like we just should... let me know. Am I going home next? <laughs> I don't really know. I like they're in control. So this week, my goal is to get out Jack. You know, Jack, she's really good at this game. Really, really good. She won Superlative for you know most likely to win, and I know that she will do anything to get to the end. And. I don't want someone in this game that can win it's still in this game. You know, besides my big targets, Katie and Doug, like, I've, I've seen her game up close and personal. She's great. I love her so much as a person, so much as a game player, um, but she needs to go. But I was told when Fish and Michaela uh, and me stepped out of the meeting with everyone else, um, immediately, according to, like, all the attorneys, Miranda said, how about we just vote JS? And, you know, I never really got along with her that well. I mean, um, you know how I feel about I know. I, st I still want the returnees gone, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I feel like the returnees are probably going to try and target um, Jack. So you are part of the Creepy Crawlers Alliance? Yeah. Day one, there's been another alliance without you. I figured as much. And it was the four of us. And I also was, figured that much. No, I knew. And I hinted at you and kind of told you. I talked to JS for like 30 seconds, and I literally mean 30 seconds because I had to come see you. Um, I didn't really do much talking, but in any conversation I have with JS, I don't really do much talking because he likes to talk. I feel like at this point in the game, I no longer need JS around. So if I can get him out, then why not? Well, Jans came to talk to me at his tribal about why he flipped 
and both Miranda. Like, I didn't say anything, but in my head I was like, why the hell would I work with you when you just did that shit? That's all I got. I know that Jack wanted to talk to me, which was going to be later. She wants to flip, but she wants me to flip with her. And then that would just leave, um, yeah, it just leaves Tony. And then, literally, I'm not close to either one of them. I guess you could technically say I'm closer with Jack because we, like, live in the same building. Everybody assumes that because we're in like Gemstone, but I have no friends in Gemstone. The only reason I even talk to JS and Jack like more than anyone else, even though I don't really reach out to anyone in the game, is only because we live in the same building. And JS is always like knocking on my door on the door at these ungodly hours of the night talking about, talking about Survivor. All of you have come to this general consensus that I'm not really playing this game. And I guess that's more or less a part of the fact that I don't really talk to many of you outside this game but that's okay i'm very careful and purposeful about what i say and what i want people to know so, so then i thought it was weird that you texted me saying you wanted to go final two i was like how could you ever say oh that i definitely way? wanted to go final two with you but that despite well for one thing i think you're a pretty respectful player and i like you the best out of all of the other players i'm surprised you guys can't see through my strategy because it's not like it's like calculus where it's hard and you might not always see the answer it's pretty much out there for you to see. I'm not really play, underplaying it at all. And I think all of you are just kind of just oblivious to the obvious. Uh, JS is the kind of person that will kind of spit bullshit at you to say what you want to hear. I definitely think that there are other newbies as far as the returners vote that they want out before they want me out. So at least I know for tonight, at least I feel pretty safe. I'm actually pretty mad that JS has made it this far because like what the, like he should have been voted out six votes ago. To get out of this, I think I really need to pull on my relationships I've kind of established so far. I think the reason why it wasn't me was because of those relationships, so maybe I can milk them a little bit and just make it so that I'm not next. Like, I know for a fact I'm target number one for some reason. I'm really scared, Jack, because all they have to do is like do this like once, twice more, and there they win. Game over. They literally played us so well. This game, none of the alliances have gone with the easy vote. Um, every time the vote becomes clear as to, oh, it should be that person, they're on the bottom, they don't end up going home. So I think from that angle, maybe I have something going for me because I would be the next logical easy vote um, to keep their six alliance strong and Sam's not a threat. But like, I honestly think like you're like a logical player. I think like you definitely probably make decisions because like, it's the smart thing to yeah. do. Like, like obviously oh we're like God. not on the same yeah. side, and it but sucks like, that it has to be this way. But like, I honestly do think we can work together. But like, I feel like you have to just be flexible and like yeah. who you want to like mm -hmm. take out. You know? I feel the same way. And like, I talked to JS actually, and I was like telling him, and I heard you're like the perceived ringleader. And then he was just like, whoa, 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 like let's like let's not get things like all messed up. Jack and Sam are like this. I don't know like yeah, what's yeah. benefiting my game. Like, am I being dragged along because like I'm not a threat, or yeah, is yeah. it? Because like I actually have like a good social game. Yeah, yeah. That's something I should use more. Yeah, because obviously like I don't want you gone. I have to try to fend for myself because even though Tony's, I believe Tony when he says he'll help look after me and help get the vote on to someone else. Um, it's not as pressing for him as it is for me. I think I'm the one who has to do the real scrambling to make sure that I don't go home next. Basically, the only other person I'd be pretty much willing to vote for is Sam, just because Michaela and Jance did vote. Me. And like that was like the first time I've been in the majority like yeah. this whole game. I've been in the bottom this whole game and to finally have people willing to like yeah. be in the majority for the first time in the game, it's like the to just like turn on them that quick. I don't know if I'm doing that. I could just sit here and hope it's not me on the best of my will and wait for them to eliminate another Majesta person. But instead of waiting, I think I have to act on my gameplay, try to make that flip sooner. I don't know if it's possible, but there definitely is a top and a bottom to that alliance. It's just a matter of finding it. Keep in mind, Kayla has a legacy and now an idol, I think. Does she officially have a legacy? Like, I don't know. If it is, you sex strong, like, you know, she'll be safe. I mean, if she's voting with Katie and Morgan, like, that's Whoever all they want to go. Yeah. If I were to get in that votes, and I let you know beforehand, would you consider it? If it was, like, four other, like, Committed. Four other committed. Or take four other committed. I think so, yeah. And I want names. Yeah. Too. Oh, too I would definitely give you names so you can like cross track really, like, Yeah, exactly. In case, like, yeah, anything. 
at this point, I'm not winning the game. What do you so, mean? No, no, like, Why do you say that? Because all the other returners have played a better game than me, and all the other newbies have played a better have had played a better game than me, other than Sam. So, I wouldn't say that. I think I have to make a move now. Like I'm serious about me and you, like going to the end. One thing that I've realized is that at this point, I have no game. That regardless of who I'm sitting in final tribal council with. I am not getting jury votes. I'm basically Sam, except I'm, I'm investing like 10 times as much time as her. If I'm up there with Katie, it's like, oh, well, she's won before, so she had a bigger target, she gets votes. If I'm up there with Morgan, it's like, well, Morgan was likable this whole time. I can't coast all the way down to final tribal council with the returners. It's also messed up because Katie can truthfully say, I want to take you to final tribal council because if I'm there, it's like, I'm not getting the votes, she is. I'm going out of my shell mm -hmm. because, like, obviously I have, like, a place with the returners. So, like, I'm gonna come clean to you about mm -hmm. a lot of stuff. After stuff. all that we've been through, I feel like yeah. I'm not gonna blindside you, Edgar. Or, like, like, yeah. From the beginning, like, <laughs> yeah, I've no. blindsided you so many times and you also blindsided me too. So, like, yeah. I feel like now we can work together because, sure. like, we both had shit that we both, like, put on each other. It's like, yeah. now we can move on. How much do you trust JS? I trusted JS like pretty like like wholeheartedly until last vote. He, he came to the returners and he was like, I'm the, I want to vote with you guys this week. And like he told us a lot of mm -hmm. stuff. Like he, he, he was dropping oh, wow. secrets. I made a, an alliance with Tony and I basically told him that, yo, JS is tight with the returners now. Like he told us everything about how uh, the Majesta 5 run their game, how like you guys meet up and you have name cards and shit. I feel like we have options and yeah. we have like, now I can say I can trust you. Whereas, yeah, because like yeah, before yeah. We, were, we were obviously both keeping stuff from each yeah. other and it was like, yeah. it's like apparent, it's so obvious when you talk yeah. to someone, it's like, wow, this yeah. is a really awkward conversation. Yeah. No. But it's like, <laughs> yeah, like I'm definitely like coming clean here. Yeah. It's like, no, and I appreciate it. So Egro meets with me. He basically tells me the whole thing about JS flipping and being like, JS told us like all this information about McQuad. Like we know like everything, like Majesta secrets, like they're all open. Like I'm trying to work with Egro now and I honestly believe everything that he told me because I know it's true. Um, but I do believe him, like he's being genuine. Like none of the returners were supposed to spill any of this information to the newbies. And like he trusted me not to tell anyone else what the plan was. And like, I have to trust him. I'm glad it turned out this way yeah. because now we can like- Now it's Survivor. <laughs> yeah, now we can work together and it's like, yeah. it's legit. Yeah. I could honestly see us going to final two together. I would want to go to yeah. final two. I hope you keep your word. No, no, no. no. Like, I'll keep my like... word. Just because I'm meeting you over. doesn't mean I'm not pissed at you still. I, 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 I understand. Okay. You should be pissed at me. <laughs> I'm pissed at myself. And I did feel that like maybe out of everyone, Miranda didn't trust me. Like the most, I think that's like, a fair assessment. Um, and like I was throwing like a lot of things and I was just like, I just think I didn't think the ramifications all the way through of like where I would be left after the vote. Okay, so what's the plan? I don't think any of those five are gonna break off at all. So then Jack goes home this week and then I go home next week. I don't know, I don't <coughs> wanna lose Jack. I want you to know that I really don't wanna lose. Like I trusted her a lot in this game. Cause why would you flip on us if you didn't want us out? Cause I didn't trust um, Miranda. Okay, but I feel like you also, Tony. it was part of your plan to get Jack or me out next to no, whoever didn't win true. immunity. No, Tony. <laughs> then why did, why did you tell me I had to win immunity? Like, what was that about? Because I didn't want you to be a target. So then, am I supposed to win immunity every time from now no. on? Like, <laughs> And the fact that he has the nerve to betray me and then lie, he keeps lying about stuff that I know the truth from Katie and Egro, so I'm just like, this bitch has like, like he does not have my best interests at heart, never did, like never will, so I just like feel like he keeps lying to me, there's no point in me having him around. Like, I, feel I like do we're... not want you to ever leave this game. I want you to okay, so then how as far in this game then as possible. What's the angle next I swear, week? I promise. I don't I... believe you because you're the one who always has like seven steps ahead and right now you don't have any so I feel like you're hiding shit from me again. But if I tell you my plan, I'm not gonna are tell you gonna anyone. Me? No. Okay, it depends what the plan is, but I'm- The plan is for you to be in final three. <laughs> Michaela has the idol. Um, How do you know that? Because the, the three girls stayed afterwards and they dug in between the stump and the tree. Those three are a solid three of an alliance. Wait, you're like sure she has or you think? I'm. 
Like, like someone saw, told you? No, no one okay. told me. But I'm like, from what I saw and what I gathered, I'm like 88% certain she's sitting right now in her room with like, a, you know what I mean? I want him to be worried about those three girls. I want him to work with me. I want him to know I trust him, giving him this information. You know, I'm telling him whatever he wants here. But I'm saying like, you have a future in this game, and your future is with JX. You have every power in the world right now to use all this information I'm giving you, run over to Katie, Morgan, and Michaela, and you have the ability to save yourself and for Jack. And Jack. However, as soon as you get rid of me, you're gonna be next, she's gonna be next. So you need to decide, do you want to put aside the hatred for me for blindsiding you, or do you want to just kind of bite the bullet on Jack, move forward a little bit, and, you know, try and take it to the end with me. I still want to take you to the end. Sacrifice your morals. Bitch, they don't matter. You need to play my game. Why would like I lie to you? Why would I want you out of this game? Do you I think don't I have know. a good route with them? You I have mean, to think obviously logically you, in this game. Obviously you thought you did because you betrayed us. No, you have to think logically in this game. Okay. I know, I was thinking logically until you like thought like an idiot and flipped on us. I mean, I just want to get to Final Tribal, like, and I don't know if I can trust you to be loyal to me anymore because mm -hmm. you- I'm 100% loyal to you. Then why didn't you tell me you were flipping? Like, if you had told me, I wouldn't have told them. You will never be blindsided again by a vote. The black vote cannot be put on me. Well, I can't, I can't control what Sam does. I, it's not Sam's decision. Jack needs to put the, play the black vote. But she needs to pin it on anybody else with me. I don't respect you as a person. I don't trust you in this game. I never liked you from the start of this game. Like, you can fuck off. Like, he's like, Tony, like, you have to listen to me. I want to work with you. But like, that's what I want to do ever since the beginning. I wanted to work with you. Like, I'm sorry I had to do what I did, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, he said, Tony, I'll vote with whatever you vote with. Even if it's in the minority, like, I'll vote with you. Whatever yeah. you want me to do, I'll do it. And I was like, well, there's no point in me being in the minority. Like, I'm not gonna, like, do that. Like, what yeah. the hell is the point of that at yeah. this point? Like, and then he was like, okay, well, I'm telling you that I'm gonna vote with you from now on. Like, that's what I'm gonna do. And I was like, okay. He said, Kayla has the idol because he said he watched you guys start looking for the idol after we left. He said he circled around he and was did? watching you guys from a... Oh my yeah, God. he said he was, he was watching you guys from a bush. And then he was basically like, those three girls have all the power right now because they have the idol and like we can never get them out because they'll play the idol. Like I'm so done with him because he's literally so stupid. But um, then I mean, said, I believe I kind of believe what he's saying that he wants to flip because I knew from the moment he told me he wanted to go final six with the Returners and Michaela that that's like not true because obviously like. Why would you do that? You don't just like pick people off. Like that's just not how the game works. So obviously I have personal ties with Tony and that hurts. And when he pisses me off, he really pisses me off. Then later he comes back and then it's fine. And it's like, oh, we're, you know, it's, it's just like a married couple. Like you just fight and then I'm like fucking angry with him where I literally want to just kick him out of the house. And then after that, he like comes back and I'm like, okay, I can handle you now. Like we're about to watch Survivor together and watch the merge in Game Changers. And honestly, no, I don't want to watch with him. I'd rather watch with Doug or Egg Roll. I have invitations for both Doug and Egg Roll to watch Survivor together. And we're going to make noodles. And we're going to do whatever. But I have to sit with this boy, Tony, and talk about gameplay. Because, you know, he's my number one in this game. Um, as far as he knows. What do you guys want to do? Like, are we thinking stick with the six and vote out uh, Jack or Sam? Um, so, I mean, or do I we feel like we should, like, consider voting out, like, JS? I'm pretty sure Tony hates JS now, too, so I think they'll all push for JS to go. Yeah. 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 Like, what do you guys think is better? I mean, I don't trust him long term. I it's like, I agree with the JS suggestion. As long as we have a mutual understand among the six of us, or the five of us, that JS is on, like, not with us. Like, JS is not, I mean, not even top sure five, just like our top five. I'm sure on board with that. First of all, I would be completely okay with voting out JS. And I think JS just has terrible jury management. The only way he thinks he's gonna win is by him just being an asshole, but still trying to earn votes based on um, how deserving he is, based on how crazily he played the game. To the point where he backstabbed people, he screamed at people, he cursed and, you know, maneuvered through all the obstacles he could so that he could get his way to final tribal. We could vote out JS and leave Tony and vote out Tony. But like, I kind of really don't care as long as it's not us, which is yeah. that's horrible. Yeah. So I'm trying to think of like who would vote with us yeah. 
if that makes sense. Yeah. Because we can't just like us three do our thing. I feel like we would have to talk to everyone else other than JS and tell them let's do JS, you know? I know we've had our own kind of like mishaps and our, you know, it's not been the solid alliance all the way through the game, but I feel confident in the way that it started and I feel confident in the way that, you know, we are now, you know, we're interacting before every vote, we're talking things through before every vote. And then we're kind of coming to the group meetings with a kind of gameplay, what we're going to do, who we want, who's best for all of us. Like, I feel like a lot of your threat is gone because Miranda's Miranda gone. gone. I'm like, I think you should I've... push Sam because I talked to Michaela, and she was fine with Sam. She's fine with Sam? Yeah, I talked to her earlier. Why would we want to keep someone that's potentially like a vote in someone else's pocket? How is JS suddenly running the game? He kind of selected Jack right away, so he's kind of tearing through his old alliance. I would rather go after Sam just because I don't like the idea of this like weird just like swing vote that like I don't know where it's gonna go. I don't particularly want to work with her. So you would be okay with voting Sam? Yes. You, me, Michaela. Because then Katie, if it's, would Katie be okay voting? She might. I would talk. I, Michaela and I could work on her. It's and you. Doug said he's only down to vote me or Sam. Okay. So that would be six. Wow. I really do think you could pull Sam. Like I said, last tribal. Hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Um, it would take a miracle at this point for me not to go home. I don't want to be a sitting duck that just gets shot off this week. So Anders asked me to do a last minute confessional uh -huh. and in the confessional it was like not like 10 minutes ago like he gave me this necklace uh -huh. um apparently when Miranda I didn't even know about this apparently when Miranda went home she had a game changer that was like an idol she could give to anyone for the vote right after she went out it's only good for one vote he didn't have the paper wait so you have an um, idol so it's only good for tonight's wait, vote wait wait if if they text us that the vote is you play it for yourself and we're voting for JS I think I think I think we vote. I think we go. I, no, we need no. options after this though, and I think JS no, he's might not be an loyal option. To us. He's not okay, loyal but to I, I, I think we I think we need to keep our options open. I think if they're good for Sam, then we have the option of going with JS and Old Majestic, or we have the option of going with our well, turners. Your idol has to be played right and now. Eight tonight or not at all. We can't waste I think, it. I know, but I think they still have numbers, Tony. Like long term, this isn't good. I think, I think we get JS out. Like you have to trust me. Like he's not. He's not like good in this game. I don't want to blindside the returners after all the work I've put in to try to gain their trust. Saying I'm going Sam tonight, though. But it's a waste of a thing to vote Sam. But I like it, this only saves like one vote, and like I think we're saved. Like if Sam is gone, then JS has less power, and then they're more willing to work with us. I think. I don't get why we're gonna get Sam out when Sam has been loyal to us this whole time, but JS hasn't. So whose name do we put on the paper? JS. Do we go JS? Yeah. Okay. He did this and he's going. Yeah, right? And I guarantee you the returners will want to vote JS out a little more than they want to vote Jack yeah. out. Yeah. Final yes, three? Yes, yes. Okay. This like needs to happen. Y'all been saying final two, final three all week and I'm invested in this game now. Like. All right, and now, final nine, please welcome the members of the jury. Woo! Dylan, Fish, and Miranda voted out at the last Jesus. tribal council. Last tribal, JS. It was Miranda's birthday, she was voted out, and you end the tribal by saying, happy birthday, biatch. I, I get caught up in the moment. I was told a lot of things right before and throughout the day. Um, that was the result of why I changed my vote. I know I can't speak to Miranda, but like I'll tell the group here like I regret saying that it wasn't a nice thing to say um, You know, it's hard. It's easy to get caught up in this game, but it's it, it's nothing personal and I regret saying that um, So wait, Tony what? You can't have it both ways like you said it just like own up no, to it. I said it I own up to it and I'm owning up to it that it was a mistake and it was rude and you know, I've said a lot of rude things in this game. So when I get caught up in the moment, when I feel like I'm being attacked, that those are the choices Who I make. Who was attacking you though? I, you know, from what I heard, I was at the bottom, and that was the reason why I switched. So Tony, after Miranda got voted out, and JS said that you and JS had a little bit of back and forth. You were very passionate, let's say. How did you feel after Miranda was taken out? 
Well, when somebody you thought you could trust turns out to be the snitch, well, that person has to go soon, you know? Like, that's what I have to say about that. Can I say something? Yeah, say it. Uh, the illusion of being close is very relative to JS. I do not agree with that first part of his statement. <laughs> uh, I knew that JS was going to be the flipper from, like, day one. Oh my, my God. Like, even my friends who aren't playing Survivor told no, me about you. you told me that your friends didn't trust me. Yeah, my <laughs> friends don't trust you. I definitely didn't always trust you, like... Yes, I worked with you while it was beneficial, but when you eventually flipped, I mean, it wasn't anything that I already didn't see coming. So, Doug, with the fact that it was 6-4 and now Miranda's gone, does that mean that Jack, Tony, and Sam are at the bottom? I'd say so. I think it's been pretty clear. Like, Tony's immune, so we can't vote for him, but yeah, it's... Shit, you trying to say you're trying to vote me out? No, I was, <laughs> Damn, stating, I was stating a fact that we can't vote for you because you're immune. <laughs> <laughs> Tony question how does it feel to be immune and do you feel like um, if it you feels were... great especially considering Doug's trying to vote me out up here like damn but I have to say next vote like if you guys want to work with me nobody reached out to me this time like I'm here I'm open. I reached out to you I'm open Jack is it clear what the sides were from last vote who the six and who the four were we can flat out just say it Anders um the four who voted for egg roll last <laughs> vote was Miranda Tony Sam and myself I think I should be completely honest with you all um, Miranda was voted out, but I found out like an hour ago, Miranda got voted out with the Game Changer. It's a necklace idol I can play tonight. Um, I will be using this for myself after the votes are read. I discussed with all of you before who I'm voting for tonight. You can join me if you'd like. Hey girl, do you still have that suicide bomber? Do you want to see the text from Anders? You don't believe me? Uh, you can't bring out your phone. Can I bring no, out my phone, can't. please? Nope. So Jack, just to clarify, this is an idol? Yes, it is an idol. I'll be playing this after the votes are read because it's going to be me. Unless anyone... Yeah, I found idol. out right before Tribal Council when I had a second confessional with Anders. That you got an uh, idol? Would you like to see it? You can pass it back to Igor. That's fine. Like, it looks, no, no, can I see it? It looks like a piece of jewelry. I can't assess hey. the validity. Does this mean she this gave it legit, to me? Though. No. <laughs> Screw you, JS. So does that mean she gave it to me? Oh. You thought like shit. Why you thought like shit? I, mean, I, I would just, just like to say I called it like three weeks ago. Called what? That JS was the snitch. She did. <laughs> You can rewind the tape. Yes. <laughs> Play it back, back. Go oh back boy. and watch it again. It just proved that they didn't trust me and that, that the move that I chose to move on over was maybe a better move for me. Really? You know, because you were going to make it to final Only four time's going to tell. I, I don't believe that. And who would have gone at five? I don't know. Oh, okay. But you do know, though, JS. I do you, know. But and it's I, think I, wouldn't, I don't think I would have made it to five. That is why, you know, everything oh, that I had heard. Was just Where are you going to make it with them, huh? Only time will tell. So, Sam, everyone's sort of saying that you, Tony, and Jack are in the bottom. Tony has immunity, Jack has his idol. Do you feel more in danger now? I do now, yeah. I didn't know about uh, Jack's idol beforehand, so like, her That's pulling it out was like, oh shit. Tires. And then I already knew Tony was immune. Um, I think I'm kind of feeling what, like, I guess that we put the returners through at the earlier weeks where it was like, okay, yeah, we had the numbers and then like they just better like play the idol at the right place. It is not a great feeling. I guess it is what it is. I didn't see any of this happening, so. So Jack, you're on the bottom now. You play your idol correctly, you could be safe. Yeah. But then what? You're still in the minority. What are you going to do? That it is a dynamic game and I think from the get-go I've Ever since Murray hit, I think I've been trying to play it like a dynamic game. I want to be here, and like because I am at the bottom, I have no say after this vote. Like this is kind of Jack's last hurrah, and if it's gonna be me next week, okay, I'm okay with that. I'll just settle. But if I'm begging you, I really want to be here, and I think I've proven that I want to make mutual relationships with all of you, and I'd just be kind of a vote for you moving forward. I don't. You know. I love Jack as a person. I worked with her for 10 weeks in this game, um, and I, I think she knows that, I, how much I respect her, how much I value her gameplay. Like, I've been in countless amounts of meetings and strategy sessions with her. She's great at this game, and I think she's proving that, even this week, how, you know, how close she is to probably even staying. I think she plays really well, but, you know, that's also a reason to get rid of her. Um, you know, she did win, most likely to win, in the challenge the other day. Can I ask Jack some questions? Yes. 
Uh, I, I was wondering what the name of your game changer was. <laughs> can I pull out my phone? No. You, you know if you can <laughs> give the game changer someone? The impression I got from Anders' text, he didn't have the paper at the time, but when Miranda was voted out, she had the opportunity to gift this to any other player to be used in the tribal after she was voted out. I believe I probably could give it to someone, but right, considering then. that it's my name, that's how about possibly you, being How about you ask um, Anders if you're allowed to give it to Sam, and then Sam can give it back to you. Can I give this to Sam? Sure. Just curious. Okay. Jack, I'll work with you for the upcoming weeks if you give me the idol. I mean, I have nothing to lose. If it's not this week, it's next week for me. Jack, why would you give him the if idol? If it's not me this week, it's next week. Like, I'm not going to win challenges. Why would you give like, away the idol, Jack? It's, ne it's next you week. You can't trust these super glued returners. Like, damn. If it's not me this week, it's next week. I just need one more week, and if I can prove my loyalty in any way, I'm all up. But why would you trust Echo with your idol? Like, I don't get that. Like, I'll play, I'll play on someone tonight. I don't know. Maybe, she, maybe I'll play on you. It's about to get interesting. Yeah, I'll choose someone. Eric, Jack gave you her idol. What does this mean for you? I'll vote too. She told me to vote this time. And I'll work with her next week if she makes it out of the vote. So, there you go, Jack. That is a vote for your side, which means that's four votes out of nine. All you need is one more vote. Anybody else trying to flip? <laughs> I'm not flipping tonight, because uh, if you flip too many times, no one is going to trust you. Well, no one uh, trusts you when you flip the first time. <laughs> okay. You know what? I think I gained five people's trust by doing it, and I lost three. I realized the key word in that sentence was think. <laughs> they will have you out there as soon as they can. Trust me. You got you know least what? likable in this game, boy. Nobody likes you. <laughs> uh, I did get least likable, and that's also one of the reasons why I flipped. So more people cannot like you. It is time to vote. Um, sorry about this, dude. Man. This vote is not easy for me. <laughs> oh my god, I spelled Jack's name wrong. I really don't want to vote for you, Tari Sam, but I want it more than you, and you know it. <laughs> if you have a hidden immunity idol and you would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Uh, I'll play it on me. All right. If this is a hidden immunity idol, all votes cast against Eric will not count. This is not a hidden immunity idol. All Sarah. votes cast against Eric Holy. will Better count. I thought it was. Once the votes have been read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the Travel Council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote. Sam. Second vote. Jack. That's supposed to be a crown. Looks like teeth. <laughs> That's one vote, Sam. One vote, Jack. Seven votes left. Third vote. JS. No dot after the S. That is one vote, Jack. One vote, Sam. One vote, JS. Six votes left. Fourth vote. Sam. Fifth vote. Jack. That is two votes Sam, two votes Jack, one vote JS, four votes left. Sixth vote. Jack. Seventh vote. Jack. I follow. Twelfth person voted out of Survivor Maryland, winner take all, and the fifth member of our jury, Jack. Can't say I didn't try. It's five, that's enough for tonight.
I like to play my game changer. All right, Sam. Sam's game changer is the black vote. After a player has been voted out, but before their tribe, before their <clears throat> port is snuck, the player who has voted out is allowed to cast a vote for the next tribal council, which means one of the eight of you will receive a vote at the next tribal council, meaning there will be nine votes in total. Jack will get to decide. She will do so in her final words. You may take this with you. Jack, the tribe has spoken. In they go. If you're at the bottom, I wish you the best of luck. We are at the final eight. Still anyone's game. Do not give up. Otherwise, got nothing else for you. Have a good night, guys. But don't actually, because we're having a challenge. Don't leave. We can actually have a good night. No, 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 no good night. I'm not getting those two, that's for sure. Shut the fuck up, dude. Miranda flipped me off very tribal. Yeah, because you're a little bitch. You and I are going to go to the end, okay? Mm-hmm. Are you good with that? Absolutely. Okay. We haven't had a good blind side in a while. I'm down. 100%. So then they're probably going to come for whoever doesn't win immunity. So whoever it's doesn't win, like, it'll be you, me, Doug. We can just do, if you can get like, Sam, go to Rox. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. How? Wait, no way. So now basically I'm stuck between like three different rocks and three different hard places. I came, I joined Survivor to play the game and it was an amazing experience. I loved every moment of it, even though it was super stressful at times. Um, you know, just thinking back about how I played the game, I accomplished a lot while I was here. I'm really proud of myself and all the work I've done. Hey, I met my goals, um, I survived a vote, was not the first one voted out, I survived a tribal council, I made the merge, I helped my team win immunity, I ate freaking bugs, I mean I won a steal the bacon, was a successful team captain, I went home a threat because of the superlatives I won, I played a fake hidden immunity idol that might have been bought, I, I played this game, I think I as best as I could and sometimes things just don't work out for you. I'm honestly so thankful for this experience. I think I'm a better person because of it. I highly encourage anyone who's watching to apply. I stick to my word to the people I can trust and that's obviously not you. Survivor had my blood and my sweat but you're not getting my tears, or at least no sad ones. I played with no regrets, and I loved every moment of it. Thanks.